Hello friends and welcome back to another scrapbookpal.com video. Today I'm going to be using some Gina K products along with some Nouveau products. This Gina K stamp set is called Scripty Encouragement and I love the encouraging sentiments in it. They're wonderful. We're also going to be using the rounded swirl stencil. It's gorgeous and yeah, big fan of that stencil. We'll be using that a lot in the future. Then we're going to be using some Nouveau Glacier Paste. Now, if you've never used this stuff before, it is super shimmery, super creamy, and super, super pretty. Very different than Nouveau Glitter Paste. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those. I have the colors um, Hot Red, Golden Era, Green Envy, and Sea Sprite. And then we're going to be using a palette knife along with the Deco Foil Stencil Pal. It's a two-pack. And I don't know how I lived without this thing before, I'll tell you that. So put that on your list for sure. <laughs> uh, because especially when you're using these glacier pastes, you want things to be even. I've got some black cardstock that I have cut down to, mm, it's about four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it's the whole front of an A2 size card. I'm gonna tack that down to my glass mat using just some washi tape, any low tack tape will do. And then I'm gonna tape my stencil right over the top of that. I'm going to do this like it's a hinge so that way I can do more than one card front. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do. You'll notice that all of my Nouveau Glacier pastes have a little bit of, um, that's actually press and seal over the top of them. That's what I do with mine just to make sure that they don't dry out. I've never had one dry out but this will just ensure that they don't. So I'm opening all of them up to get ready and then I'm going to take my palette knife. I've got a, a bunch of paper towels sitting here so I can wipe off my palette knife as I need to. I'm going to dig in there and put this onto my stencil pal on one side where I want it. Wipe off my palette knife. I'm going to dig into the golden era. Put that down on the palette or the, the stencil pal. Wipe off my palette knife. Dig into the green envy. Do the same thing. As you can tell we're doing a bit of a rainbow. So then I'll wipe all that off and then I'll dig into the Sea Sprite and then we'll put that down as well. All right, I'll clean off my palette knife a little bit and now we're just gonna scrape those colors right across that black cardstock. And the, I love how the Stencil Pal does such a great job of giving you an even coverage and especially with these Glacier Paste, you want that to be fairly even. And then I am going to just set my my stencil pal off to the side and look at that it did the stencil just perfectly and with something so creamy like this you usually run the risk of having it squish underneath but that stencil pal does such a good job of kind of like pressing everything down that you don't have to worry about it going underneath too much now because I'm just one of those people that likes to see how different things can look I decided I would put some white cardstock in there. I thought, well, we, I love the way it looked on the black. Let's try it on the white. So we're gonna do, go through this whole exact same process, just a little bit more color, because I already have some color on there. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of each of those colors to where they were on my stencil pal, wiping off my palette knife in between. And then we're going to just go ahead and drag that right across the front of that white cardstock. And, um, I love how it looks. Uh, so far, I thought it was just, it was working out just beautifully. I did have a little bit of a hard time getting it to get all the way to the top edge, but I didn't have, I love how evenly this just clears off that stencil and then you don't have to worry. I did decide to go ahead and take another piece of white cardstock and then just rub what I had left onto that cardstock and it was so pretty. And then I took the rest and wiped it off and then stuck it on the edge, which was kind of a big blunder. I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> it's just like a brown, a brown blob on the side. But I can take that background and I can do something else with that. I'll peel back my stencil and voila, it did another amazing job of those backgrounds. I went ahead and trimmed these down. So these are now four inches by five and a quarter. So they will fit nicely onto an A2 size card front and then they'll have a nice white border around them because both of my card bases are gonna be some white cardstock that I had cut down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and now I'm scoring those at four and a quarter inches so these will both be side folding A2 size cards. And then I'll line those up on the front of that and we'll just take some Nouveau Deluxe liquid glue and we're gonna go ahead and adhere these right down to that card front. And I'm, I'm loving that. I just think it's so pretty and it's so, so shimmery. So we'll do that with both of them. 
And then when we're done with that and that's good and adhered, we're going to go ahead and work on our sentiment. I did forget to mention that these Nouveau Glacier pastes take a while to dry. So I did that fairly thin and I walked away for a good 20, 30 minutes. I went and got myself some tea, chatted with my husband for a bit, came back, and I even ran my uh, heat tool over the top of them just to kind of make sure that they were good and dry. So you will need to let it sit for a little bit of time before you just go ahead and start messing with your backgrounds. Just a little FYI. All right, I grabbed out one of the sentiments from the Scripty Encouragement stamp set by Gina Kay. I thought that one that says, you are awesome, was perfect. So I put that into my Misty, stamped that out. And then now I'm just trimming it down using my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. I'm lining it up in there and I'll trim out both of those sentiments to fit perfectly on the front of that A2 card. And then when I am happy with that, we're going to grab out some of the uh, Scrapbook Adhesives Crafty Foam Tape. So there is no dimension on these cards really, that Nouveau Glacier Paste is really pretty flat to it. And so I thought to add a little bit of dimension, we would go ahead and pop up our sentiment. It's one of the things I really like to do. And this stuff's great because it's easy to tear and it's nice and sturdy. And then I just stick it right back in my little holder, set it off to the side. We'll peel off the release paper and then I'll use my glass mat to try and adhere that down to the front, just making sure that things are nice and straight. I'll do that for both of them. And then we are going to add a little bit more embellishment to this. I couldn't stop there. Even though that beautiful rainbow background is pretty, I decided to pull out some Nuvo crystal drops in colors that would match. So I have autumn red, bright gold, bottle green, and Neptune, and they really did match very nicely. So I'll put a couple drops of red over the nice hot red, and then I'll put some more of that bright gold over the golden era, and then I'm going to put some down, or put some of that bottle green down on top of the green Envy. And then our final color, which is Neptune, we're going to put over the Sea Sprite. And I love how they're subtle on there, but you can definitely see that they are there. So there's a little bit of embellishment but it's not so in your face. And then I will finish these off by just tapping those down so that they look a little bit more like enamel dots. And when I'm happy with how those look, that's gonna finish off our cards. So take a look at that. I love how gorgeous and shimmery that Nouveau Glacier paste is. I'm telling you, I could just sit and make backgrounds like this all day. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.